Welcome to San Diego's Best and Brightest. I'm Beck Bamberger. There's only 30 Major League Baseball teams here in America, and in San Diego, we're lucky to have one of them, the San Diego Padres. Today with me is the CEO of the Padres, Sandy Alderson, who's going to tell us a little bit about the team and what's going on this year. So Sandy, as CEO of the Padres, you're responsible for the daily business and the baseball operations of the entire team. For most sports fans, this must be the top five wish list job. Uh, but what do people not know about your job that would be surprising? Well, first of all, it is, it is a lot of fun. Uh, I've been involved for a long time. Originally got involved because I thought it would be fun, and it has been. Good. On the other hand, um, there are some demands, and uh, one of them is the emotional demand uh, involved in playing a game every day and being so caught up mentally and uh, emotionally in the outcome, not just uh, over the course of a season, but on a daily basis. And so that tends to color your attitude toward almost everything on a daily basis. If you won the night before, uh, the next day is great. If you've lost the night before, it's uh, less so. So uh, I think it's the emotional uh, drain that uh, comes from playing so many games and uh, losing a good percentage even when you have a great year. Your background is so diverse, Sandy. You've been to Harvard for a law degree, you've been to Vietnam to fight in combat. What are the leadership skills you've taken for all your life experiences to prepare you and use on a daily basis as CEO yeah. of Padres? Well, I have had a varied uh, background. I think that um, started with my upbringing. My father was in the military, and so we moved every two or three years. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've found, particularly in, in in this business that adaptability is an important uh, quality to have and, and when you have to move uh, every few years uh, and adapt to a new situation you develop those skills pretty uh, readily. Um, learned a lot uh, in the Marine Corps um, obviously leadership is an important aspect of what the Marine Corps represents. Um, it was great in terms of discipline and just uh, the experience with people of all walks of life. And the nice thing about the military is you get to meet people who are generals, you get to meet people who were lieutenants like me and, and uh, corporals and PFCs. And so uh, I think there's a lot to be learned in that kind of environment. Uh, Harvard was a whole different deal and that's where the sort of analytical side I think was um, developed and uh, I think that has held me in good stead in this business. I think that the more analytical one can be um, the more consistent the team can be, and uh, I've found that over the last couple of decades. The owner of the Padres, John Morris, said that when he brought you on in 2005, he wanted you to just, quote, make this team the best in the American League. A small, small task at hand, but how do you, or what are the components of that to get the Padres to that claim of fame? Well, <clears throat> and then as CEO, too. Sure. Well, you. As in any business, you have to have a good product, and uh, that means we have to have a good team on the field. And you know, we've been relatively successful uh, over the last two or three years. This this year has been a little bit of a disappointment, but there's no question that the cornerstone of any baseball franchise is the quality of the team on the field, and so that's really a primary focus. Uh, it's not our exclusive focus because there are other aspects of of our operation that are also important. We think it's important to have great customer service. Uh, we think it's important to be involved in the community. Uh, we think it's important for us to uh, maintain this ballpark in uh, the same condition that it was and, and develop its reputation. So it's, it's an overall um, uh, effort toward excellence, and, uh, but we recognize first and foremost that uh, we've got we've to have a good team. Sandy, the Padres took the National League title in 2005 mm -hmm. and 2006, and in 2006, we had record attendance, 2.6 million people, which was the third consecutive record attendance that we had. So when things are good, you look good, right. but when things are not so good, how do you manage the disappointment or even the criticism from media, fans, whoever else you have to answer to? This is not a, a large business. in. in, in terms of its national scope, but it's a very high profile business. And it's also very results oriented. Yeah. Uh, which I'd gets back that. which gets back to the team on the field. And so uh, one has to recognize that uh, the outcome, positive or negative, is going to affect perception. 
What we try to do is manage internally the process by which we uh, hope to obtain good results. Uh, if the process is good, the probability of, of good results is higher. If the process is um, questionable, then the probability goes down. We can't control the results. Ultimately, there's, there are a lot of things that are beyond our control. That's good true. luck, bad luck, umpire call, injuries, a whole host of things. But ultimately, what we have to do is cr try to create a situation where we have the best possibility, best and highest probability of success. And um, again, if we're, we're able to control that, then over time, uh, the results will take care of themselves. They won't always be positive, but uh, more than likely, or more often than not, uh, they should be. What are your goals for the rest of the season and seasons ongoing here? Well, this this may sound uh, hokey, but you know <laughs> our goal is ultimately to make the fans of San Diego, the people of San Diego, proud of the Padres, their association with the Padres, their support of the Padres. And so every decision we make flows from that. Again, I go back to the fact that that starts with the team on the field. And uh, we hope that people develop a confidence in the way that we approach the game, even if we're having a down year. Uh, but ultimately, we want people in this area to be proud of the Padres, what they represent, uh, how they um, maintain the stadium, uh, the treatment they get while they're here, and the entertainment value that comes from hopefully being a season ticket holder. Mm -hmm. Sandy, thanks for spending time with us today sure. in the midst of a busy season here and great ones to come. Great insight into the San Diego Padres. Catch us next time on San Diego's Best and Brightest. I'm Beck Bamberger.